Ah, <sighs> little Uzi man, what is you doing? So still in 2023, little Uzi is still doing the same demonic and weird tactics, and I don't get it. He's never consistent with the character he's playing. His fans could care less about who he's trying to identify as. And more than anything, he's not doing what he's known for, which is making music. As a casual Uzi fan, there's only so many times that I want to hear this nigga Uzi say the Pink album coming soon, but proceeds to never drop it, but instead do these weird antics, while people in the comment section talk about how weird he is and he's pushing 30 doing this, cause it seems like he's yet to realize that it's 2023, it's not 2015, 2016, or 2017 no more. This is a whole new generation of kids who's not falling for that taboo imagery no more, especially for rappers nowadays, cause it seems like being weird is the new trend, and just generally less and less people was falling for that. Little Uzi a couple days ago was featured in his magazine piece where he's obviously got the upside down cross and blood all over his face. That's featured in this magazine cover but Little Uzi, I got some news for you. Nobody cares. I D G A F. I don't give a fuck. You're not Playboy Cardi, it just seems like you're doing this just for shock value. And I know what you're probably thinking, how you gonna say all this about Lil Uzi but Playboy Cardi's doing the same thing? Well, here's the simple answer. One's better at doing it than the other. Both of these artists like to play certain characters when it's time to roll out their albums. Just like when Uzi first started promoting the Turner Will Take, he themed the album around his cult called Heaven's Gate, which was led by a cult leader named Body Nettles, who convinced 39 other people to kill themselves. Last chance to evacuate planet Earth before it is recycled. But Uzi later scrapped the theme due to him being threatened with a legal lawsuit and just finished promoting the album around some UFO or whatever he was going with. While Cardi, he went with the vampire theme for Whole Lotta Red. They thought it was gay. So both of these artists are known for doing this. Even Trippy does it when he's about to roll out an album or somebody as big as J. Cole. But the difference between them and Uzi is that they stick to the character and theme throughout the rollout of the album. While Uzi one week he'll be a demonic worshipper, then the next week he'll be a vampire, then another week he'll be Leslie. It's like bruh, make up your mind and stick to a character. Cause it kills the illusion and aesthetic of his brand. And it just seems like he's just doing this for clout. Which in all honesty he is just like every other artist. But for somebody like Plubber Cardi who also taps in into this demonic theme, he fully plays the character and goes into it well. He dresses like how a vampire would dress, he wears the makeup, and he'll even associate with people that fits that theme or have that same demeanor. Like he goes into this character the best and I think that's why Cardi's at the level that he's at. Cause he kept his mysterious mystique and weirdness throughout his whole career and for some reason, believe it or not, his fans love that. Though I do think they would mind if Plebber Cardi would drop some more music, but him being the way he is gives him leeway to do that. And it only adds and helps his brand overall, building up more hype. To whereas Uzi throughout the years you hear from him and see him a lot more. He's more active on social media and he'll feature on some people's songs, which I think in a way kills his exclusiveness and just seems contradicting on what he's trying to appeal to overall. But yeah, that's all I really gotta say. I just seen this picture on this magazine cover and I just had to talk about it. Cause right now, Uzi, he just seems lost aesthetically and he's trying to get that same feeling back that he had back in 2016 and 2017 when he first was doing the upside down cross and painting his nails and doing all that but fails to realize that what he's doing is so saturated right now and it just seems like Uzi he doesn't want to grow or evolve but that's just my opinion y'all be sure to let me know y'all's down below in the comment section am I tripping on what I'm saying or y'all feel the same way be sure to let me know like the video comment share subscribe have a nice day